In life, as in football, we all go through highs and lows. Elite sport requires huge mental strength. And yet in this video, leading footballers highlight how it is OK to say that you're not. The least recognisable face, Kevin Ellison, has the most powerful story. The Morecambe player suffered from depression for a decade, staying silent all that time. That's better finally, isn't it? You're meant to be this big macho man and you're a footballer and this and that and it wasn't that, that's not the case. I was, I hid things, I wore a mask basically and led a double life which weren't me and I pushed certain people away. Liverpool fan Rohan Kalicharan tried to kill himself on three occasions. Having been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, he is now happily married. Here we are, happy uh, happy wedding wedding day to Claire and Rohan. But football was once his one escape. I didn't have to worry about tomorrow, think about yesterday. I was just stuck in those 90 minutes watching, uh, watching Liverpool, watching uh, any football. Um, being able to just live in the moment instead of worry about everything going on around me. Indeed, this campaign is being targeted at men, with new figures showing that they're far less likely than women to recognise the early signs of anxiety or stress. And it's fabulous that those footballers have come forward because it's a pretty testosterone fuel sport football. Difficult to talk about your feelings, but it reminds us that it doesn't matter how talented you are, talented you are how rich you are, we all have down days. Millwall's game here tomorrow lunchtime against Newport County will be one of the first with one of the unusual start times beginning at 12.31. A few thousand fans here out of a million or so nationwide encouraged to take a minute to forget about their team and to think about their own well-being. It is a weekend when the very first minute could end up being the one that matters. Richard Pallor, ITV News.